So my job really is to protect his time. So we're trying to produce silk screen prints. I've got him going into a print studio so he can produce multiple images from one play to one set of screens. And um, you know, I'm trying to protect his time because every day counts, you know, whether we get to commission and the church. Um, it's just a race against time. This will be a silk screen when it's done, silk screen edition. We'll take that, we'll, we'll break it down into uh, tonal layers and then build it back up again on the, on the screen like we have done with that one. And it'll go through three or four uh, stencils to build the thing back up. Doing is I'm cutting the border where the background goes for the colour, and that goes all the way around here. It's all hand cut, and then it all gets peeled off, leaving the stuff that needs to be printed. Red, blacked out the UV. So basically, what happens is it doesn't harden up the gelatine and the stencil, and that all washes away. Yeah. This one, which is Chris's artwork. Yeah. Chris has yeah. painted that. And what we do with that, we make three different uh, exposures of it. We get a light one, a medium one, and a heavy one. This is a vacuum press. What we do, we've got a UV light here, it's one kilowatt. So what we do is put the stencil film over, lay that over the top, that vacuum presses up to it so you get all the detail without any distortion. That flips up, you shine the ultra, ultraviolet light through, expose it for various sort of minutes, and then pull that out and put that in a bath of uh, diluted hydrogen peroxide. That fixes it, then you wash it out, and all the sort of loose emulsion comes away then. Now I've cut the film to size. So that's the stencil film that goes over the top. That comes there. What's that? Just leave that out for two minutes. It gets washed in here for a minute. After it comes out of there, wash it no. with warm water and then all the non-exposed stencil film gets washed away, leaving you with a negative. So the next ones he'll do will bring in more detail and then the last one will be higher detail in the image. What you've got there is a low stencil. These are all highlights that are left in. Obviously the background's going to be white until we put the colour on. So anything that's blue will show white. It's obviously a negative, and then when we print it becomes positive, so it goes positive, negative, positive. So just presses it into the mesh. Now, we'll leave this to dry today, and the acetate is still on the front. We'll fill the outside around the screen with blue filler like those yeah, right. uh, to stop the ink going into the other bits. Little light bits that might let some ink through yeah. are brushed out. And then obviously the acetate peels off and that leaves us with the open screen ready to print. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So I'm going for the salmon, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and then we just we just work on the last one.
got it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to see next to the others? Yeah. Perfect. You like that, Chris? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, oh. All tinted, but more or less the same. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Fantastic. But it works, I think. It works good. <laughs> and got them both wrong, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, both of them, yeah. <laughs> two out of two <laughs> so far. So, where, where does the comma go? The oh. other side. The other side of the one? Yeah. It also it, it sort of makes it a more professional finish somehow. When each one's side and it's stamped and Well, thanks a lot of you too, that was brilliant. Lucky we're not yeah. filming this. Yeah, very lucky for me. This is the most stressful part of the whole uh, shebang. Monotypes, no worries. Signatures. <laughs>